Yo, I'm Kendra. We're twins. We love to watch. And this is our reaction to Hawkeye, episode one. Never meet your hero. <laughs> okay, well, here we are. Um, this is new for us. Kendra is home on the West Coast. I'm at our mom's house on the East Coast. We are doing this remote Zoom reaction thing. We're hoping we can edit this together and make it look nice for you guys. I'm using my little rinky dink camera. So, you know, we're gonna see how this turns out. Yeah, um, this is definitely going to be a little awkward um, because this is our first time doing anything like this, but it's going to be okay. Um, we are reacting to Hawkeye finally on Disney Plus, uh, the much anticipated uh, latest Marvel Studios television series, which will be following good old Clint Barton and his new protege, Kate Bishop. Um, what do we know? We don't know that much about this um, series in terms of being comic book fans, but we know just a little bit. I know that it is based on the Matt Fraction, um, very heavily based on Matt Fraction's comic run of Hawkeye, in which I think he's single in this, he's living alone, he buys an apartment building from some Russian gang members um, called the, the Russian, um, the, or the, the Tracksuit uh, Draculas, which is an interesting name. He meets Kate, he takes him, up, takes her under his wing, um, and he spends the rest of that um, sort of like getting into shenanigans with her and his dog Lucky. Oh, There's a lot of other really awesome um, characters that might pop up. Um, one that I'm really excited about is the Native American um, anti-hero, Maya. Oh, Maya. Maya, who is uh, also Echo, um, and right. she is uh, deaf, and she's kind of like Taskmaster. Um, I think she can like, she has like a photographic memory so she can memorize people's fight moves so that makes her a really 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 good fighter two of the writers um are from series that a lot of people love and respect like mad men and rick and morty um bridgerton loki hey. um yeah so it's gonna be a good series and i would really like to appreciate hawkeye more yeah <laughs> Uh, me too. Right. Um, so th 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 I know that there's going to be a lot of threads in here right. that are connected from the other series and from um, the, the 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 stuff that's going to come up both in the movies um, and in more television stuff. And of course, you know, everybody's really excited for Kate Bishop. She's yet another one of the Young Avengers. I'm sure she's probably going to be one of the, the lead. Yeah. Okay. Without further ado, um, if you guys like what you see, please like our video. It really helps our channel out. Leave a comment below. Let us know what you guys think about this adaptation of the Mad Fraction comic book series for Hawkeye. Um, does Kate live up to your wildest dreams and expectations? <laughs> um, and how how is a uh, good old Clint gonna fare in this? I'm hoping that I will um, I will start to like him a lot more after this. That's I'm I'm, I'm open to that. All right, let's get into this reaction. Hey. 2012. We know what year that was. I'm guessing this is young Kate. Oh, yep. That's hey, Vera. there's Vera. That's, that's what an actual solution. Coming in. Look, girl, you know that's not gonna work. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend to take a nap. You're saying when I'm not there. I don't know how to argue with that. What would you do in a hurricane? Protect you. Why don't you go have some lunch with your mom? I'm trying to figure out what exactly. they're gonna do when the shit hit the storm because this is about to be attacked by Loki. Well, that was a Shatari. I'm loving this behind the scenes look at what was going on outside of the Avengers when this all went down. That was a huge Yeah, I'm outfit. glad they're finally um getting to this. Yeah, that is a nice rich. Oh, she's that in New York? Is that a brownstone in New York? Yeah. yeah fucking rich as hell. <laughs> is she gonna see Clint? She's she, yep. Yep, you yep, yep, know yep, what? Yep. Maybe. Yep. Oh, that's so cool. Damn, she's like in the in the penthouse across from Avengers Tower. Oh my god. Oh, you called it. Wow. Yo, I love this. Already they're getting me with this nostalgia, man. I love Avengers. We have to get out of here. 
Oh, Fallen. shit. Wow. Wow. Talk about opening a series with a bang. That was a really good opening. I need a bow and arrow. Oh, okay, little girl. Well, I've been trying to avoid spoilers, but oh. apparently these opening credits are based on comic book art. Yeah, I recognize this. This is definitely from, from the Matt Fraction comics. Oh, look at the snow. Good climbing skills. Yeah, man. She wanted to be like Clint. I guess lock picking is uh to be to be uh perfected. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the real question, does the bell swing back and forth or does the dangling thingy in the middle swing back and forth? I think it's the dangly thingy. <laughs> You're trying not to get caught, girl. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Okay, girl, but somebody yeah, gonna find your arrows. Get that off there before you get caught. Ooh. It's old. It probably hasn't actually rung in a long time. <laughs> Oh, well, tell shit. How long that freaking bell has been up there. Man, she she messed that up. She messed that all the way up. She gonna get in trouble. I'm a good friend, but if something like that happened, I'm out. Are you excited for the Christmas season, Kendra? It does, it does make me miss Rogers you. Ah, just... Holy shit. Is that old boy from Rent? <laughs> oh, why would you subject your daddy to this? Black Widow's a knockout who can knock you out. Oh, Black Widow. And also, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't hear. Yeah, he has a hearing aid. Did he always have that? If he did, of course, Marvel never acknowledged the canon character's hearing loss. Well, they just did. I mean, now they're doing it. He looks horrified by this. I'm horrified by this. I if I went totally, and saw this musical, I'd probably love it. I would totally go see Rogers the musical. <laughs> I would too, girl. I'm not gonna lie. I'm corny. Like front, that. front, front row. <gasps> wow. Well, we, I mean, we know from Eternals, Thanos helped them. <laughs> Thanos helped uh, avert that uh, emergence. Oh my God! Well, I'm in New York right now, and this is making me so nostalgic. <laughs> I know. I kind of miss the cold weather. And when your elevator open right up into your apartment, you know you got money. Which? Ooh, okay, Vera. As much as I love having you home for the holidays, I'm not thrilled that I'm about to replace an irreplaceable clock tower. Yes, about tower. Why the rich kids uh, always love, be rebellion? Can I come home after destroying cool, cool, cool property and just have my mother whip out her checkbook, please? I know. Were you guys all good? Um, yeah, it'd be a lot easier if you were here. And it'd be less likely to strangle these kids. Well, the whole plan is <laughs> we get some alone time with the kids. No, I'm kidding. We're actually having a really good time. We miss you. I miss you. I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Bye, Mom. Bye, Bye Mama. Mom. Everybody, okay, I have- Did Kate yes. wear a fucking suit I have instead seen, of a I have seen gifts of this suit and everybody was comparing her to Loki and I'm like, I don't see it, but she does look pretty sharp in this suit. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, that that is like the Loki look from Ragnarok. Mm -hmm. I haven't oh, seen shit. that guy in anything in a while. My mom's getting married. Excuses because it seems that you need to have a chat with your prize of a mother. 
Oh my god, what a piece of crap. Come on, come on. Come on boy. No, that's not the family that I want to marry into. No, no, no. Mama. <laughs> Mama. Farmiga. We got to talk. Okay, Kate. Uh, listen, girl. Don't don't have me over here uh, liking you in this tux now. Come well. on. I don't know what Haley Stanfield is from. I don't know. I've never. This is the first thing I've ever watched her in, so I have no. Clue That's Lucky the Dog. About her. Career. Um, she was in True Grit. I think that was like the first movie she was in. And... Oh yeah! Wow, she's really grown up. I, oh, you know what? She voiced Gwen Stacy in um Into the Spider Verse. Oh, uh, oh, she did. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. What? Mom, what was that about? Is that guy threatening you? I honestly, I, I have no idea. Why are you lurking in the hallway? I'm so sorry, getting in. So come back to the party. Okay. Right there. All right. Hold on, what is going on, girl? I don't know. See, she eavesdropping and about to go snooping and shit. Child, don't get in trouble again. Is this where y'all hiding all the black folks? You know, when there's bad stuff going down, you know, sprinkle some black people around. And I will remind you that this is for home display only. And you have no idea where you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, ain't no telling what motherfucking rich people are doing in basements and attics and shit. Here. I know. <laughs> What's your name? He wouldn't get Gary. <laughs> I quit. Okay, she's, she's cool. <laughs> she's smooth as fuck. <laughs> she's still smooth. Up next, we have a very special piece. An artifact recovered from the wreckage. Maybe of the he's trying to get her mother to sell him something or give her something. Maybe. Oh, that's one of Hawkeye's freaking knives. That's Ronan's. Uh, that's not a knife, girl. 475, better do I hear 500. I've got 475 here. It's going once. Whoa. I guess it shit don't matter now because somebody's about to get it. Yeah. He just it's picked the sword up. up. Really? Right in front of my salad? Like right in front of I know, right? <laughs> I wish people don't give a fuck. Damn, that guy ruined his whole shit. Okay, so she, she knows what she's doing a little bit, I guess. Yeah, she can fight. Oh! oh. So kind of like the comics. All right, well, I guess. Oh, I think that's the guy that's supposed to be the clown. That's the actor who's supposed to play him, I think. Out. A ninja saved a dog. Rich people are so weird. The richness makes them scrums <laughs> and Oh, he dead in the motherfucker! Girl, you better get the fuck out of there. What? Uh, yo, did his son kill him with, with that sword? I bet you he did. You really just gonna touch the body? Oh. Oh. Oh, what? Wait, are those the people that, that robbed the place? The thing? She get her ass walked. Oh, 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 damn. oh, damn, girl, get, oh, stay down, roll under the cot, do something, oh, 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 shit. Is this Hawkeye? Yeah, looks like. 
He's probably chasing her or tracking her down. Hey. Let the real Avenger get this. Thank you. Hmm. That's the real Ronin shit. Y'all gonna stop beating this girl up shit. Well, she shouldn't have her ass out there. Who the hell are you? What's up? What you think? I okay. So I am. I'm not gonna say that I'm pleasantly surprised because I I expected that um, this was gonna do essentially what it did. It was gonna make um the character of hawkeye um human and and heroic and it was going to show a part of him that if you're just an mcu fan as in the cinematic universe and you've only ever seen the uh movie oh. version of the character uh, make you appreciate him more right oh so everything that's of hawkeye that i've seen leading up to this has led to this um TV series and I and I and I like it so far. I actually really like Kate Bishop. I I do too. I was not expecting to like her. I wasn't expecting to really care because I'm not right. really a huge Haley Steinfeld fan or I don't know anything about her. Yeah. I did not read, you know, I didn't grow up reading the the, the fraction comic books or um, grow up with the character of Kate Bishop. So, uh, you know, I wasn't obviously as excited as, as um, true comic book fans, but having seen her being brought to life by Haley um, in the, this first episode, I really like her. She's funny. You know, she she's hapless enough that she is relatable, but she's uh, <clears throat> but she can take care of herself. You know, she right. is getting her ass kicked a little bit, but unlike the average, you know, uh, girl her age, she can fight um, and she is quick witted. So she's not, um, even though she's getting herself into shenanigans, she's not getting on my goddamn nerves. It seems. Yeah, she's no, she, she, I was, I, from the trailer, I was expecting her to, this is only the first episode, but I was expecting for her to get on my nerves too. And the thing about this episode is that while we do see Clint uh, with his family and everything, the focal point is on. Um, Kate. <laughs> yeah, and for this her, first episode. Right. Introducing so took priority, which right. uh, which as it should, because she's the next step, she's the next phase, she's the next generation and everything. So that's cool. Yeah, I mean, and we got a little bit of a murder mystery here. I, I feel like I want to know, I mean, I know she saw Clint during the uh, invasion of New York, and that's a reason why she she is trying to walk in the shoes of, of Hawkeye or whatever, but I want to know like why she would choose to do something like stay and um, you know try to handle these robbers. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I know she was down there trying to figure out what was going on, was who's going to be her stepfather and his dad, and you know what the hell they're up to. But once those robbers attack. Even though, I don't know, even though she probably didn't intend to be down there vigilante it up, I think <laughs> instinct took over right. when she got, found herself in that situation. And okay. I think she, she just needed to get out of there without anybody seeing her, but she also had this horde of track-suited <laughs> robbers to contend with. So instinctually, she just reached for the sh shit, put the shit on. It was like, all right. Like, okay. Yeah. All right. right. Well, it was blocked anyway. So yeah, I just kind of, I don't know. I, I I feel like that part I can I can I can let that little bit of confusion slide because it it happened so quickly. And then you know, I, I actually enjoy her fight scenes. I like that she's having a little trouble handling these big grown ass men, but yeah, but yeah she should. Mm -hmm. still, stay on her feet for the most part you know what i'm saying because mm -hmm. she she has the experience so i, I like that juxtaposition juxtaposition hey. like everybody's always teasing fucking um the fact that daredevil and those guys are supposed to be entering this right. 
universe, um, now would be a good time to, to make that happen, especially because this is set in New York. Yeah, that would be cute. I feel like Marvel Studios, the MCU, is, is tries to subvert expectations where they can. Uh, people are always predicting things like Mephisto, like Daredevil and Spider-Man, like Kingpin being some kind of end game for the Hawkeye series. Maybe they'll subvert those expectations, but whoever's at the end of this road, you know, I hope it's... I'm sure it'll be, or I hope it'll be worth the wait. Elena, maybe? I don't know. Maybe, I'm because sure. I forgot well, about, I forgot about in uh, Black Widow, um, Elena was given the task of assassinating Hawkeye, so we shall see.